Mama did get out because it's raining and he doesn't want to get out. You want to go outside? It's raining, he's not going to go outside. He's a little bit bored, but we are doing a video about the harnesses. Uh, it's raining, nothing going on. So Mama is busy. Oh, you want to do a roundy? You think you're doing a roundy and then you get a snacky? Is that what you think? Do some roundies and you get a snacky? I didn't ask you to do roundies. Should I ask you to do a roundy? Go do a roundy. Do it. Go do a roundy. Huh? Can you do a roundy? Go round and round. Go roundy. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna give you snickies for sitting. How? How about that? Because, well, when I want him to do roundies, he's not doing roundies. When I want him to sit, he's doing roundies. That's the way it goes. Um, <laughs> I spilled everything on Rooney Petuni. Okay, Bruno, I get you one. Here. No, it's Bruno's. There. There you go. So anyways, I am trying to make a video. So these are the harnesses I have on the website. just the front plates um this is the hero and <laughs> this is the dragon and this is the one you should be wearing the training one uh sits there and of course the puppies are not doing what i tell them and so um they come with this type of buckle and harness and um, when I first got it I was a little bit confused on how to put it on so I figured I'm making a video and I actually researched them before I even bought them and I wanted this type because they're non-slip so they have the adjustable straps and the quick release buckles and so when you have it, what you're going to do is you take the ring and point it towards you this way. And then the top one is your head and your bottom one is your chest, like head and neck. You see, actually, there is a tiny bit of a difference in the length too. See how the buckle is a little bit further than the other one. And that's where you're going to orient it. And then you're gonna grab this one and you, so if your dog was in front of you, it, this is the front of the dog and the head would go through here. So if you lay it out like this, chest and head, it should be straightforward and how to assemble it. And I'm gonna show you right now. So the head part goes on the top part and you just, slide it right in from one side and then you slide it out of the other one and then it looks like this slide it in on one side and then the other one and then you do the same thing with the other side you slide this in here through here and then it should look like that and i already adjusted this to fit rooney so this is the head part and I leave that buckled. It's easier just to have that one side open. Then you only need to close one buckle. Actually goes real easy. And we're going to try to put this on on Rooney. <laughs> it will be interesting because he will do roundies like he did yesterday. And I'm gonna show you why I like this harness so much because Rooney can do roundy, roundy, roundies. And here I have my dog. And this is the front. So we're gonna slide it in the head like that. Mr. Buckle, <laughs> if we let you do it. Hey, 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 let you do it. <laughs> Are you hiding away? Are you hiding away? Oh my goodness, come to the mama. Come. He's like, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm hiding in there. Come, look at, I have the harness. 
<laughs> okay. I might have to take the camera down because I knew this would not be easy. Come, come on out. Come, come on out. So this is how it works when you want to make a video with Rooney. It just doesn't work. I put it on the table so I have a little bit of control. So I have the head through. Now I have to get one leg through. Okay. And then we have only this one buckle left. Should be fairly easy. And I got it. I got it on him. So the size I ordered um, should have been a little bit bigger. Whatever they sent me was a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. And so the size I have will fit maximum Bruno, Bruno size. Now Bruno is a little bit over 20 pounds. I would say a pug up to 20 pounds. If he's not really chested, like big chested or big bellied, it should fit him just fine. Um, we can put one on Bruno. Wanna wear one Bruno? Hmm? Since um, Rooney is not helping, ready like i said i keep the, the the head one closed i just leave that one open and then what you do is you take the buckle slip it over their head and if you have a willing dog it goes real easy you take one of the legs put it in here and then you have just one buckle you're gonna close There you go. Look at me. Oh, look at you. You look so cute. You know, I had to put pink on him because I just love Bruno in pink. And um, yeah, like I said, it fits him. But any bigger, probably not. And you put your leash on there and then they can't really escape on these. Let's go see if we can get Rooney right next to you. Get next to you. No. Nope. Nope. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Look it. There we go. Good boys. So you can um, adjust it. I probably should adjust um, Rooney's a little bit up front. So it is a little bit tighter and snug. But they fit different sizes. Pug could be really assembled for smaller ones. Almost puppies too. So I'm going to show you yesterday's video how it works with roundy roundies. This is actually Rooney's. His he has a one um, because it really works really great for him. And he hasn't stopped doing any roundies since we are in here. And I don't know how Dr. Clark got him to stay still, but he did. And he had his eyes checked out and. We are good. We don't need any tocalamus drops. We are good for now. There we go. This is what he does.